Cytel presents the East Insights series. How to access adaptive design features in East 6. Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to learn how to access adaptive features in East. So let's launch East by clicking on this icon here. And by default, East will open up this log page, which shows you which modules you can access. And if you're interested in evaluating any of these modules, you can always contact us at support at .com. Now, to be able to access adaptive features for sample size reestimation, you will need the adapt module, which is for normal and binomial endpoints. For survival endpoint, you will need the serve adapt module. For normal endpoint trials, adaptive sample size reestimation is available only for difference of means. For binary endpoint trials, adaptive features are available for difference of proportions and ratio of proportions. And for survival, sample size reestimation is available for both of these tests under the two sample menu. In addition, sample size Reestimation requires the following design features. Uh, firstly, a superiority design type. Second, it needs to be a group sequential design with at least one interim look. And finally, it needs to be one sided test, so one sided efficacy or one sided efficacy plus futility. If you have a two sided design, you can always convert it to a one sided design with half of the alpha. So let's run through an example now. We're going to create a normal endpoint design. Click the difference of means under continuous two samples. Now under number of looks, change one to three. So we'll convert this to a group sequential design. And in the test parameters tab, we'll keep everything as default. But go to the boundary tab. So remember, you can compute this design for efficacy only or efficacy plus futility, but not futility only. Okay, so let's accept these defaults and click Compute. Now you have to save this design by clicking on this icon here, or you can right click and save in workbook. Now saving a design is an important step since all of the adaptive features are available from the library. And you can see this design is saved under the name DES1. We can see the details of this design by double clicking on the node DES1 library. Now select the DES1 in the library and invoke the simulations by clicking the S icon. This will bring up the simulation uh, input window for DES1. Go to the response generation tab and change the mean treatment value to say 0.25. Okay, so we're interested in checking what happens when we deviate from our original design assumption of 0.3. Now click the Include Options button at the top and select Sample Size Reestimation. Okay, this will add a new tab for Sample Size Reestimation. And you can change this multiplier from 1 to 1.5. This means that if we enter the promising zone at the interim, we can increase the sample size by up to 50%. And finally, in the Simulation Controls tab, let's use a fixed seed. Now click Simulate. Once the simulations are complete, close the intermediate window and save the simulation node chwsim1 to the library. Okay, double click this node to see the detailed output of the adaptive simulations. Now this zone wise averages table at the top is one of the most important outputs. Observe the row of the promising zone. You can see that around 30% of the trials enter the promising zone. That means the conditional power of the interim for those trials was between 0.3 and 0.9. Uh, and the simulated power in, uh, for these trials was 91% with an average sample size of 647 subjects. Now, if we want to compare the results to a design without a sample size increase, we can go to the input button bottom left of the screen. This will take us back to the simulation input window. 
go to the sample size for estimation tab and change this multiplier back to one and click simulate. Okay, now save this node chwsim2 to the library. If we want to see both simulation outputs at the same time, we'll open up both details, go to home, arrange view selected windows, and select sim1, sim2, and click arrange horizontally. Okay, thanks for watching. Learn more about this and other features of eStatsCitel.com.